Eight treasures left. Main phase ad nauseum. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. 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 With eight mana on. Hello there. It's been a little while since I've had a chance to chat with you. My name is Carlos, and this is Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. The Magic Summit was an awesome and harrowing experience for us and our team. I still plan on doing a big video review to go through all the things that we learned, uh, things that sort of didn't go well, and what we hope to do in the future. But for now, we're going to close out the Commander Melee season with two more videos. We have episode 9 and then we have episode 10. And make sure, if you haven't already, to smash the like button, hit the notification bell, as well as subscribe. Uh, it does really help us. We're looking to still try and hit our goal of 15,000 by the end of the year. And uh, we can only do that with those of you that uh, maybe haven't subscribed yet. And uh, tell your friends about our show. We have a lot of fun things planned uh, for Q1 of next year. A lot of the summit uh, videos, um, some videos with Brandon Sanderson, a lot of cool stuff coming. And the best way is to subscribe. Um, also consider checking out all of our affiliate links down in the description. With that, let's jump into this episode of Commander Melee. My name is Keith. I am Keithulu Cards on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. Uh, I am a 3D card and engraved uh, card uh, Magic the Gathering art alterist. I'm here to play some high power EDH. We're going to do Borborygmos Enraged, is the commander that I'm playing today. Uh, Borborygmos is eight mana for a 7 6 commander who uh, has trample and some combat damage abilities that might come into play. Uh, the most important one is that I can discard a land to deal three damage to any target. I can just lightning bolt something with land. So the goal with this deck is to combo out by using Abundance and Keen Sense to loop drawing land specifically until everybody's dead. Hello everybody again, my name is Josh, otherwise known as the Mormonator on things like Twitter and Discord. And today I will be playing Toshiro Umazawa. I played Tetsuka Umazawa before on this channel, but I'm bringing somebody else, same last name, same family. It's a mono black commander that has a very, you know, big rules box of text, but basically it says that whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, an instant in my graveyard gains flashback until the end of turn. So I'll be playing a lot of kill creature spells and then things will take advantage of creatures dying, stuff like Massacre Worm or um, Blood Artist and other effects. All right, hi, I'm Jeff O. Um, I play, I'm a player for Kingdoms. Today, I'm gonna be playing Estrid the Mast. Um, with this deck, I'm just trying to play out a lot of enchantments, primarily on my lands, use Estrid's ability to untap my lands, generate a lot of mana, and then play some really big things with her um, as a result of that. So some Eldrazi, maybe some draw spells, maybe some other combos. So just trying to get some big mana and go big. Hello everyone, I am Jason R. And I'm playing Lord Xander the Collector. I will be bringing the pain. This is actually John M's deck. So um, I didn't put it together, but in honor of John, we are going to debut his deck. It's like he's wanted to play this for a while now and just hasn't had a chance. So he still doesn't have a chance, but we'll run it for him. Five, six, 10. 10. Keith goes first. Draw a card for the turn. I'll just go ahead and play a simple forest and pass. I'll go ahead and move to my turn. I'll draw this card, which is one that we kind of wanted to see. I'll go ahead and play this beautiful swamp for turn, and I'll also pass. Draw for turn. I'm going to play out a forest, tap the forest, and then enchant the forest with lush growth. There we uh, go. Enchanted land is a, la a mountain, forest, and plains. And go. Draw for turn. Going to play a tapped steam vents and pass the turn. Draw a card, and I am playing a forest, and then I'll go ahead and play my Sylvan Library. Ooh. And pass the turn. My turn. Upkeep, draw this card. Wow, surprising. We'll go ahead and play a land for turn and pass there. All right, I'm gonna untap. This one. Draw. I'm gonna play a Rejuvenating Springs, and thank you all for being my opponents today. At that point, I'm gonna pass and say go. Okay, draw for turn. We'll play a Swamp. And Swift Foot Boots for two, and then pass the turn. 
I do love that artwork on Swiftfoot Boots. That's a good one. Yes. Draw a card for the turn. So there, this is the card that I drew. I'll draw two additional cards. That hurts. Isn't there, there's a cute little rhyme that goes with it. Isn't there like, take eight feels great or yep. something like that? That's I it. think that's the... I mean, take eight does feel great. <laughs> But also take four, live more. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take four. <laughs> I kept a risky hand with no red mana in it, so this is the only red mana I've gotten in the deck so far. There you go. I'm gonna have to play a Castle Embereth tapped, and uh, beat myself over the head while I pass the turn. If it makes you feel any better, I also kept a hand with no red mana, so nice. I know how you feel. It's just that would be weird. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> okay. We'll go ahead and take that. Not particularly worried about anything right now. So we're gonna play another swamp and I guess I'll play the first creature of the game. My commander, Toshiro Umazawa. Only thing relevant to know other than what I said in the beginning is he has Bushido. No, whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, an oh, instant dies. in my graveyard gains flashback. Oh. So if it's a kill spell, instantly doubled, mm -hmm. like I can cast it again from the graveyard, but it'll be exiled Got you know, it. after that. That's all I have. All right, my Jeff, turn. to you. Draw. We're going to uh, play out a forest, and I'm going to enchant that forest with a Gift of Paradise. When it enters the battlefield, I get a gain three life. Jeff is winning. I Everyone, I'm winning, so there we go. Everyone get, <laughs> get off your Jeff. You're good. Go, Jason. Okay. Draw for turn. We're going to play an Islander's Land for turn, and then we're going to cast Sword of the Animist. Um, equipped creature gets plus one, plus one. Whenever it attacks, I can search for a basic land, put it on the battlefield tap, shuffle, equip two. Pass turn. Untap, I'll draw a card. I will draw two additional cards. I'm gonna draw just the one and put these two back like this. Go to my main phase. We're gonna play this forest. And then, Jason, I appreciate you greatly. I'm going to tap one red mana and we're going to just let you know how rich you are. I'm oh. gonna cast a curse of opulence. I'm super opulent. Very you good. Are, you are so rich. Yes. And in, whenever you are attacked, uh, both I and the attacking player get a gold token mm. that we can sacrifice to add one color of one mana of any uh, color. Josh seems really yeah, happy. Jason about and that. I make eye contact all of a sudden. Like, <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one with the creature. That's then okay. I'm going to tap three and I'm going to play a Yavamaya Elder. Oh, nice. Okay. Classic. It is Pass a classic. turn. Straight to combat phase. And hit me for three commander, or is it two? It would be two, oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, he'll become a 3-3 three, three if he's ever blocked. I'll go ahead and draw this card. <laughs> we'll play a Swamp as our land for turn. I think the correct play is to go after Mr. 43 Life over here uh, for two damage. He knows. <laughs> and then I'll pass. <laughs> draw. Keep the Estrid player down. There'll always be a temptation to hit the Planeswalker instead. So the opportunity to get in on the person playing the Planeswalker is, you know. Play Sea of Clouds. Does make sense. Uh, I'm going to tap for my commander. Esther the Mass will enter with three loyalty on it. And then I will plus two it. Put it to five. So untap my enchanted permanence. And then I will tap two to play out a winter orb. Oh. So no player may untap more than one, one land. land? Yep. Wow. That's... I was correct in my, my swing. Evaluation, yes. Yeah. Uh, and you can go, Jason. All right. Well, untap up key. Draw. We are going to play oh, an oh, inactive yeah. Temple of the False God. I am going to cast Dockside Extortionist. Oh, yeah. There are five. Oh, wait. So I have five treasures. Yeah. We're going to pay a treasure, try to equip Swift Foot Boots. Any okay. responses? Sure. Sure. Okay. Go ahead. Then I'm going to pay two more treasures and equip Sword. And we're going to attack Estrid for two, attack trigger. We're going to search for a land that will not untap very easily. Let's get a mountain. But it does turn on the temple, so... Yes. Yeah. That was my goal. We got there. That is my turn. Pass. Alrighty. I will untap the Castle Embereth, but then I will draw three cards. I'll draw this one, put the other two back. I will play a land for the turn. It's going to be this forest. And then I will, I'm going to swing two at Estrid, despite losing potential mana for doing so. We're going to pass the turn. I'm just going to hold up that two mana. All righty. Untap. I guess if we take away Estrid, then Jeff has to suffer under his own winter orb. Yeah, for a while. For a while. Upkeep. Draw that card. Okay. On the plus side, I have benefits still. The land I untap is better than your land. Nope. <laughs> uh, land for turn is going to be a polluty duty. That's a gross duty then. It's even grosser than normal. Teehee duty. 
I think I have no choice here. Uh, two damage in at Estrid, please. Yeah. We're going to pass the turn there. Boom. Okay. Uh, untap. We're going to untap this land. And we're going to draw. I'm going to play a planes for turn. Yeah, I'm going to pass there. Go. All right. Untapping my one land. This feels so horrible. Draw for turn. In the name of John, we will go for it. Yes. Mana Vault. Go okay. for it. Go one for it. One colorless floating. Five, six, seven. We are going to cast Lord Xander. With a mana drain. That's a lot of that's mana. That is a lot of mana. Drain. Is it seven, right? Seven. seven. Oh, that's, yep. oh, that's so much I'm, mana. I'm looking forward to that later. Dang it. <laughs> Who plays mana drain? <laughs> it was a great attempt. I'll attack you for two. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty mountain. Ooh, that's beautiful. And pass. Untap. One land. Draw three cards. I need to start pulling cards off the top of my deck if I ever want to find anything useful in this game. So, like artifact destruction? against my better judgment. He's gonna, you're gonna take the eight so you can. I'm keep gonna take the eight. You take dig. eight, feel great. Let's go. Take yeah, eight, take eight, go. feels great. Uh, Jason, I'm attacking you for two. Wonderful. I'll get a gold. Second main phase. What? I'll tap four and the gold and play a Thran Dynamo. That untaps. That does. That doesn't <laughs> sure tap. does. <laughs> I guess I pass. All right, Josh. Let's let's see what you do. Go ahead and crack the polluted delta, just to make sure that we're tied for for winning now. There we go. And I can get some shuffles going on here. Oh, I'm winning again! Dang it! Yeah, um, <laughs> you are. I want to find a good-looking basic swamp. Yeah, that one's pretty okay. Nice. Shooting star. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and move to my turn. Go your turn. So I feel like there's no reason for me to sandbag this bajuka bog. and I guess we'll just blow up that mana vault over there. That makes fine. sense to me. Because it'll untap on my my next turn. And then we'll go ahead and hit you for two. Two. I'll go ahead and pass. All right, my turn. I'm gonna untap. I'm gonna you get all the mana, but you don't get all the mana. <laughs> now you get seven. I get seven. All right, I'm gonna have one white floating. From this, I'm gonna use three. So I'm gonna have four remaining there. And I'm going to recast my commander. My commander comes into play with three. I'm gonna up ticket to untap my enchanted permanents. Oh, I gotta do it this way, sorry. That had to get tapped for blue, because I tapped for this for white. I'm gonna play this right. Tap this for two white. Put this at three. I'm gonna play a three of the consoles for one of those white. And then with the six remaining, I'm gonna play Phyrexian Rebirth. Destroy all creatures. In response, just to make your Phyrexian a little smaller, Go for it. I'm gonna tap my Thran Dynamo and sacrifice Yavimaya Elder to draw a card, which will also trigger Yavimaya Elder's death trigger. Uh, so I will search my library for two basics. I might as well get the stars of the show. Yeah. My stained glass, engraved foil, forest, and mountain. I will then draw a card and I will pass priority. I will resolve that then and create the 2 2 horror, uh, destroy all creatures, create the 2 2 horror, and at that point, I'm done with my turn. So you're going to gain life whenever we cast creatures. And they come into play tap, too. ETB. Okay. Just gets better Re and better. Regardless of your hastiness over there. Okay, so we're going to untap Steam Vents. We're going to draw. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it feels bad. Uh, untap. I'm going to untap this this forest, I guess. Draw. Draw trigger on Sylvan Library. This one. Bin those. Feels bad. I will play the forest. I think I need to keep digging for answers. Rather than just try to do anything, even though the thing enters tapped, I'm just going to cast... I'm going to pay four mana, colorless mana floating off of the Thran Dynamo, and I'm going to cast Harmonize. Draw three cards. Two of them are cards I already know about. With the remaining colorless mana, I'll use. I'll do something. I'll play a Basilisk Caller. Nice. And then I will pass the turn and move to clean up. I need to discard four of them. One of them is definitely going to be Life from the Loam. Drown Yard Temple. The Witch's Clinic is going to be discarded. Treasure Nabber isn't going to do much in this game. All right. Untap. Upkeep. Draw this card. Yeah, I'll go ahead and just pass here. <laughs> I'm gonna untap the gift of paradise because it makes the most sense to do that. Uh, keep draw, land for turn. I'm gonna play out a hall of Heliod's generosity. I'm gonna tap gift of paradise to enchant sea of clouds with wolf wi uh, willow haven. Uh, whenever it taps, uh, it creates an additional forest, and then it has another ability I can sacrifice it to create a wolf, but that won't happen. I'm gonna down tick Estrid to create a mask. I'm gonna put a mask onto. My land. That point, I'm done. Go. We're gonna untap a swamp, upkeep, take a damage from Mono Vault. Have 36 more turns, guys. <laughs> Draw a card. 
Play Volcanic Island. Pass the turn. Oof. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It's okay. I will untap the pretty forest and my Thran Dynamo. Uh, draw a card from my draw step. Sylvan Library trigger. These two will go back. I will draw this card. I'll play a mountain. Tap this forest. Play a groundskeeper. It comes in tapped. I gain a life. You gain a life. Got to use the Thran Dynamo mana as much as I can, right? Still got to stay some kind of presence uh, yeah. in the game. I'm going to cast a Lightning Greaves. Any response? Nope. 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 I'd like to move to equip the Lightning Greaves onto the groundskeeper just because I can. No response. Yeah, I'm done. Pass the turn. Move through my upkeep. Go to draw step. Yeah. Tap two and we'll cast a Blood there Artist. There we go. Okay. Which will enter the battlefield tapped. And I'll get a life. You will. I have no further effects from there. For my turn, I will go to untap my Sea Cloud. Draw for turn. Two, three. So four. I'm going to uptick Estrid. Untap my Chanted Permits. Tap down and cast Ooh. out a Kozilek the Butcher. Ouch. Okay. Well then. 12, 12. When it enters the battlefield, or when I cast it, I'm going to draw four. So gonna, there's a draw four trigger on the stack as well. Yep. Um, and then when it is put into the graveyard from anywhere... I shuffle my graveyard into my library. Oh, but it's not indestructible. It's not indestructible. Okay. Still very susceptible to death, but it will get it back. But the yeah. plus size, I actually draw four cards. That's really what I'm happy about right now. Yeah. I think Josh will probably kill it on my next turn by his by soon. So if he had his choice, I'm sure he would. So <laughs> I'm gonna draw four though. Oh, I didn't play a land yet for turn, did I? Do you have a plan? Do I have a plan? My plan is to politic Jeff and tell <laughs> him that I won't kill Kozilek if he doesn't swing at me. I'm going to play a planes for turn. I'm going to tap the two planes for a arcane signet. I'll tap the arcane signet for a green. And we are going to enchant this forest over here so it can start making other things. I think I'm done with my turn. Go. Untap on my upkeep. I'll take the damage. Draw for turn. Yeah, I'm going to just kind of have to take one for the team. We're going to cast Toxic Deluge. Oh. Where X life is 12. So all creatures get minus 12, minus 12. My hero. My hero. I got no responses. Responses. I'm going to say no. Sad to lose Groundskeeper. Not that sad, actually, though. You would have lost him to an Annihilator. And triggers. I will go um, and shuffle my like Blood Artist triggers. triggers. Yeah. You're going to lose four. I'm going to gain four. Nice. All right. Thank you. Good call. And that is my turn. I'm going to go to do my draw step. The I'm other gonna... reason I did that is because there's a, light, a Lightning Greaves, and we want Astrid off the board as soon as possible. Okay. Yeah. I did plan that. You're Sylvan good. Library. These are three new cards. We're going to see what I get. I, I am going to pay four for one of them and then put one of them back. I'm going to tap th five and I'm going to cast Storm Cauldron. Storm Cauldron is an old artifact from Alliances that says each player may play an additional land per turn. And whenever a land is tapped for mana, return that land to its owner's hand. It's a little weird, but like no. I feel like this is a good move. This yeah, is a great move. I love this. We're on board. I don't I'm, like that you love this. I no, I think this is great. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm on board. We're good. Yeah, hit it. Well, I am going to play my first land for the turn. It's going to be this mountain. Okay. I'm going to tap the mountain for a red mana, and I'm going to return it to my hand by Storm Cauldron. Yep. Then I'm going to play this mountain for my second land per turn. I'm going to tap the mountain for a red mana, and it's going to return to my hand. And then I'm going to play this Gruul Signet, and I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. Oh, I was hoping for, like, Dockside. I wish. That'd oh, my. Been, that would be so good right now. That would have been amazing, yes. So let's see. Heart of the Cards. Yeah, no, that wasn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Mana Crypt, which untaps. Yeah. So we're, we're doing stuff. Two mana. Back to hand. Mm -hmm. Yep. Replay those two lands. I'm going to cast a Mausoleum Secrets, which will allow me to search my library for a black card with a CMC equal to one. So I'm going to go at least look in my library and try to find something. No response. Right. Makes sense. Reanimate it is. That goes back. Yeah. Reanimate. Targeting Dockside Extortionist. Lose two life. Lose two life of my 43. Dockside enters the battlefield. Oh, yeah. I gain a life, by the way. Yes. Are you gain a life? Dockside is tapped. We said it's 18-ish. 18 18. And I've already made my two land drops for turn. Let's go ahead and do three treasures. Let's cast Toshiro here. And tapping the mana crypt. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. I was confused as well. I was like, what? Yeah, we're going to go down to 10 treasures. Toshiro entered the battlefield, by the way. I gain a life. Gain it's a life. tapped. Cast a Grey Merchant of Asphodel. Nice. There we go. I gain a life. Which will be up to... Just four? Four. Yeah. So... Yeah. 
Did you gain four life? I'll gain 12. And I'm the threat here, right? I mean. No, this is all just to answer you. I don't care. They can they can hit me all they want to after this. <laughs> Eight treasures. We're gonna cast a diabolic intent, sacrificing Grey Merchant of Asphodel. Search for anything. Oh, yep. Search for anything. Okay. Yeah, I guess good. I'll go get a Villas. Nice. See, go I'll get a car. Go get a card that puts you ahead. Yep. Yeah. No, go get me an 8-8 eight -eight flyer. <laughs> yep. Pretty much. Card that, that puts you ahead. Using the remainder of the treasures, we're gonna go ahead and cast the Villas. Okay. All right. Makes sense. I will gain a life, and it'll undertapped. Yep. Will undertapped. That is it for me. All right, we're gonna go to and tap this uh, fancy dancy planes, the Sarcane Signet, and then we're gonna go to drawing. That didn't feel as good as I thought it was going to feel. I am going to uptick Estrid and tapping my enchanted permanence. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to tap this planes for a planes, return yep. to my hand, and I'm going to play out this forest return and a planes return. And I will tap the forest and cast out a Blind obedience, that's the forest, and our treasures come in tapped now too. Yes, Darkside is gonna make you even more treasure well gold. And <laughs> as it stands right now, I am just a very sad, sad person. So go. Yeah. Uh, look uh, what you me. made me do is kind of the vibe that I'm getting here. <laughs> and I'm done. Oh boy, <laughs> did you take the one? I did. Well, I will untap for the turn, untap Thran Dynamo and the forest, draw Sylvan Library, trigger on the draw. We're gonna put these two back on top and I'm gonna draw this one. I'm willing to sit back on this one. I'm just gonna use my artifact mana and I'm just gonna cast Seek the Horizon. What's that? I'm gonna get rid of the cards that are on top of my library right now. Seek the Horizon is an old, old, old card. Search my library for up to three basic land cards, reveal them and put them into my hand and shuffle my library. So I will go get some basic lands. Yeah, I'm gonna get this basics. and this mountain. All right. Some of my favorites. Shuffle and hope that I get something better. I'm gonna play this mountain and I'm gonna play this forest and I will pass. Untap. On the upkeep, I actually do have an effect. Um, odds are damage, evens no damage, please. Ooh, Even. Nice kingdom's dice, very cool. <laughs> Okay, let's go straight to combat. And let's see if there is an answer for yeah. Villas swinging in at Estrid for eight damage in the air. There's no answer for that. Are you interested in a gold? Let's kill Estrid. Okay. First land drop is going to be this swamp, which will get tapped for mana right away, sent back, and we will sink that one mana, pay two life, bing, bing. And we will give uh, Villas minus Minus one, minus one until end of turn. And I'll go ahead and draw two cards. Second land drop for turn, we're gonna do the exact same thing. It's just not where we wanna be right now. You could put so many lands in your hand, Jeff. You could have a full grip. It's worth it, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just pass the turn there. Cool. I will untap a planes. Uh, I gotta go to discard. Let's get rid of a sudden death, a darkness. Okay, we'll get rid of like one swamp. That is it. Okay. Uh, I will untap a planes for turn, draw for turn. We're gonna tap two, return them. Play it back out. Tap two more. So I'm at four. Eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Kozilek. Again. On cast, I will draw four. So I'm going to discard two force and a planes. And go. Untap. Upkeep. Draw for turn. Tap for three. I have a colorless floating. Play the lands again for turn. Nightscape familiar. Woo. Nice. There we go. That's, that's what I want to see. That's a creature. Game life. I love then, creatures. With Small the one creatures. floating, I'm going to go to equip Swiftfoot Boots. Yeah, okay. Let's do some stuff. Okay. Tap Bajookabog. Cast Dark Ritual. Up to three black mana. Let's keep track of this. I don't Very think I'm so. ever going to get another opportunity to do this. So I'm going to go down to one colorless. One black. One black. One black. I'm going to cast a cast down, nice. which oh. is destroy target non-legendary creature. And I will target the familiar. So if I regenerate it, then what happens? No, I don't get a Toshiro trigger if you decide to regenerate it here. Which However, means? I'd like to show you this card and ask that you don't regenerate your creature. No. No. Ugh. Okay. He gets destroyed. Why would you do that? So I get a Toshiro trigger. Yes, he does. I would like to target Dark Ritual. Nice. I knew it. Use the colorless, or use the colored mana. Sorry, cast Dark Ritual again. Uh, okay. Yeah, you could do that. It's going right. to be Tragic Slip or whatever. Yep. 
I know exactly what it was. As soon as he showed up, I was like, oh, I know what he's going for. I know what he's afraid of, and it's me. I would like to pay... He started this war. <laughs> one red, one black mana. There it is. Okay. And I would like Kozilek to slip on a banana peel. Tragically. Tragically. You want Kozilek to slip on a tr banana peel tragically? Yes. Minus 13, minus 13 until then. Right time. into an enormous grave. Oh, is he going to top his lands? Oh, he is. Top. For a white and a blue, Dovin's Veto. Ah, oh, there we Counter go. Counter target, non-creature spell. All right, that resolves. I've still got a black floating, huh? Nightscape familiar, you died for no reason. <laughs> Actually, no, we pulled a counter spell out of his hand. That's we did pull a counter spell out, but no, we're not we're not out of this just yet. Um, that'd be too easy. I'm not gonna go down without a fight hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna go down. It's gonna happen. Snuff out. If I control the swamp, I may pay four life. Rather than play snuff out's mana cost, destroy target non black creature. Yeah, it can't it. be regenerated. Yep. You actually made me hesitate because I have a can't be regenerated clause on this card, <laughs> which I don't even think they print on destroy spells anymore. No, no because no. regeneration's not a. They've sunsetted it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna shuffle. Think about <laughs> some stuff because I've got one floating black mana, and this mana vault, this mana crypt hasn't been used yet. So we're sitting with this much mana right now. I'm gonna say I'm not doing a whole lot over here anymore. So because Kozilek died, Toshiro triggers, Yep. and I'm going to target something. I think the only good one here is the Mausoleum of Secrets. So we're going to fire up the Mausoleum of Secrets this time, X equals two. One colorless left. So we're going to search our library for a black card with a CMC of two or less. We'll just get the first one we see. We'll get Dance of the Dead. Okay. Yeah, it's still Jason's turn. That's crazy. Yeah, Jason's main. Choice. Jason, why do you turns your why? turns take so long? This, this turn took. Me I feel, really, it feels like really it feels like Josh's guys. turn right now. <laughs> All right, I'm done there. We're we're good. We can. Okay. Do I have anything else? Uh, I passed the turn. So go to untap, untap my two artifacts, untap the mountain, uh, and then draw a step. Sylvan Library trigger. These two go back. This one goes into my hand. I will tap Thran Dynamo and the Gruul Signet. I have. Red, green, and two colorless mana in my mana pool. I will use the red and two colorless to cast Magus of the Wheel. I get a life. You do indeed. <laughs> I will use the green to cast Sylvan Safekeeper. Oh, I will gain a life. Yep. I will equip the Lightning Greaves onto Sylvan <laughs> Safekeeper. Going to be playing all of my land that I have available. Do I use any of it? I don't think I use any of it. I'm going to pass. Okay. Same thing. Evens, no damage. Odds are painful. Almost back to normal. Good crypt. Good crypt. You draw three cards. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and draw. You crypt is your friend right now if you get damage. And then you okay. draw the one. I'm going to go ahead and draw my card. For there you turn. go. Yep. Thank you for the reminder of how good that is. And then I think I can do this. We're going to play Cabal Coffers. I'm going to go ahead and tap Cabal Coffers for four. Cabal Coffers bounces to hand. Oh, no. Replay Cabal Coffers. Oh, no. Go down to two colorless, retap Cabal Coffers back to hand, go up to six black. black. That seems okay. Like that, it's doing something. Cauldron, it's so cool. I'm gonna go down to four. I'm gonna activate Villas twice, no, and I'm going seven. to kill Dockside Extortions. I'm gonna go ahead and draw four. Um, let's go ahead and go down to two black floating, and I'll cast Dance of the Dead. Uh oh. On Dockside Extortions. Uh oh. Hello, Dockside. Thank you for returning. Uh, they're tapped. They're tapped. He doesn't get access to them right now. Yeah, I don't get access <laughs> oh, to them. Oh, that's right true. Now. That's true. That's true. <laughs> we're safe. We're safe. We're safe. Okay. So 15. 15. 15 still, yeah. 15 tapped treasures. I was going to say, you, you guys traded in the devil you know for the other devil that you don't know. <laughs> true. <laughs> well, you know what they say fortune favors the fools. Five mana. That's true. Oh, what? cast a revel yeah. in riches. Oh, there it is. Oh boy. It's at the beginning of your upkeep, right? Yep. Yeah, so, so he's got to get a turn either with the riches out or with the treasures out. There we go. Okay. He is, uh, he put a clock in the game, like I said. Yep. Sure did. And I'm definitely not going to swing here for the sake of somehow dying to something. So I'll go ahead and pass the turn there. I need to move to discard. One, two, three, four, five, six. You work on that. I'm just going to untap my 12, one 13, land. 14. I can untap the turn. And okay, I'm good. Which you, means I'm hoping that that, <laughs> that wheel shows me something that I need. Let's right? go. <laughs> I really want an answer. All right. All right. Uh, for turn, I'm going to play out a forest and a sea of clouds. Once again, thank you for being my opponents. I think similar to Jason's turns, I'm going to say go. Oh, <laughs> nice. Nice, nice. So let's untap. 
Upkeep, draw. I'll play first land for turn. All right. Well, this is high power, so I'm gonna have to just do this, I guess. Turgrid, God of Fright. Oh, okay. Oh, I get a life. I do want to equip Swift Foot Boots. Any response? Uh, swords. Okay. Second land for turn is Volcanic Island again. Okay. And we have to clean up Price of Progress and Mana Geyser. All right, let's see what the wheel bestows upon us. We're going to untap. I'm untapping Castle Embereth. Might as well. Upkeep. Upkeep, yeah. I, ca I get priority. Yep. Actually, sorry, these untap as well. Yep. yep. On my upkeep, I have priority. While I have priority, before I go to my draw step, so Sylvan Library uh -huh. can not just be useless. Yep. Um, I am going to tap Castle Embereth, return it to my hand, tap the Gruul Signet, and Magus of the Wheel. Okay. Tap and sacrifice Magus of the Wheel. Only yep. cost any, two. Any responses to the wheel trigger? No, none. So we are going to discard and draw seven? Discard yeah. and draw seven. On my first draw trigger, I am going to dredge life from the loam back into my hand instead of drawing a card. Yep. And then I will draw seven. Sorry, six. Six. Six additional cards. I mean, now I move to my draw step yep. and I have a Sylvan Library trick. Yep. yep. Sylvan Library trigger. Look at the top three. Pay eight feels great. I am going to cast Borborygmos Enraged. I will tap the Thran Dynamo, this mountain which returns. Uh, that's four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Yep. Borborygmos is cast. Any resolves? I don't have anything. Okay. I get a life. You gain a life. <laughs> Go to combat. I'll attack you, Jason, for one. No blocks. No blocks. Yep. You get a trigger. I get a, tre I get a gold. Take one. Play my first land for the turn. It's going to be a Reliquary Tower. Yep. Not bad with a fistful of lands and a Borborygmos on play. Yep, yep. I am going to attempt to equip li the Lightning Greaves to Borborygmos. Yep. So far, you're still reveling there in the riches, so... No, I think I'm about to die to discarding... What, he needs 13 lands? Play my second land for the turn. It's got to be, though. Yep. Tap these two lands, return them to hand. Yep. Sacrifice the gold. Beast within your revel and riches. It's a beast. Yep, and I get a, a token. Bolt no, your villas, like, bolt your villas, bolt your villas. Sounds good. Those all go into my graveyard. Yep. Bolt your commander? Sure. Pass. Upkeep. You got to plan ahead a lot. Take that damage. Yes. Ooh, damage. I'm the lead. Draw, land for turn. We're going to do Ancient Tomb as land for turn. Nice. Tap Ancient Tomb, cast Charcoal Diamond. That'll enter the battlefield tapped. Nice. Ancient Tomb back to hand. Ancient Tomb is Arcane damage. Lighthouse. Nice. As land for turn. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying that. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> so let's Previous. go ahead and flow yeah. two colorless. We're going to instantly go down to one. I'm going to activate Arcane Lighthouse. Okay. Removing Shroud. What? It doesn't target, it just removes oh, Shroud just and removes Hexproof. Shroud and hexproof. Okay. Yep. Creatures your opponents control lose Hexproof and Shroud and can't have Hexproof or Shroud. And that was not tapped for mana, so it is not returned to your hand. Yep. That's fancy. Yeah. Yeah. So you're saying this actually has all their uses. Huh. Yeah. Correct. Okay, so assuming that I'm about to just get shot anyway, I will attempt to Malicious Infliction Borborygmos Enraged. Interesting. What is that? When you cast Malicious Infliction, if a creature died this turn, you copy it, but I'm not, so it's just destroy target non-black creature. And they can't have or gain Shroud either? Yeah, they can't have or gain Hexproof or Shroud. So that's why it gets around uh, yeah. Sylvan Safekeeper and like Autumn's Veil, Veil of Summer. That was that feels bad. I really hope I really thought that I had that, but yeah, no, that's fair. It dies. Eight treasures left. Main phase ad nauseum. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Swampus, zero drop. Swampus, Swampus, Swampus. Ow. Ow. Wow. Go for the throat. That is two down. Chromox, that's pretty good. Oh, never mind. It enters the battlefield tapped. Basilica Screecher. Swampus, Bloodstained Mire. What the heck is going on? Imp's Mischief. Swampus, Crypt Ghast. Swampus, Another Land. Swampus. Amazing. Liliana's Triumph. Each opponent sacrifices a creature if you control Lily. Vendetta, we're down one. Swampus. Supernatural stamina. This doesn't untap. Dance of the Dead doesn't allow that to untap. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, weird little thing. I feel like Borborygmos is still consistently removed. Lethal Vapors. Lethal Vapors. <laughs> oh, sorry. And then oh, no, two more. Did you remove it already? Oh. Yeah, I did. So he's at um, 13. 13. Yeah, I'm down to another one. Come on. 
It's okay, kinda... we're going places. Ladies there and gentlemen. We go. It's a little bit of a weird... Uh, Necromancy can do we're it. We're stopping there. Hey, everybody. I hope you had a great time at Magic Summit. Okay, colorless, seven, six. Cast Phyrexian Altar. Ender's top, if that matters. I don't know. We're gonna go ahead and go down to three. Wemo, we're gonna cast the Necromancy, targeting the Grey Merchant of Asphodel. Oh. It enters tapped. Four. Yep, it enters tapped, and that'll be for a total of five. One, two, three. Oh yeah, just four. Yep. You, get, you gain a life? Yep, you do gain I a life. I gain a life, but then I'll lose four. So I'm going to 37. We're at 21. Supernatural stamina targeting Grey Merchant of Asphodel. Until end of turn, target creature gets plus two, plus zero. And when this creature dies, return it to the battlefield tapped under Very its owner's cool. control. Grey Merchant is going to die. From the altar? Yeah, I'm going to sacrifice it to the yeah. altar to float One a black. And then Grey Merchant's going to come right back again. So for three this time, right? Yep, just for three this time. And then I gain nine. I can still lose four life off of my Sylvan library. Yeah. If I want to. There we go. <laughs> and you yes, gain a life. Gary is tapped, and you gain a life. Yes! I gotta make sure I'm staying significantly ahead of him. Yeah, five. <laughs> yeah, the fact that you are this far ahead just makes it really scary, and I don't think I can, uh, I need something oh, bigger. <laughs> okay, we're gonna sacrifice Grey Merchant of Asphodel to Phyrexian Altar. We're gonna go up to two black. We're gonna use all of our treasures and our black. Oh boy. We're gonna tap the swamp. Oh. We're going to cast Corpse Dance with buyback. There we go. Hold on. All right. Swan Song. Swan song. Oh. He gets a bird. Yeah. I do get a bird. And you it's tapped, man. and you get a life. <clears throat> yep, and you gain a life. I was waiting to make sure that he was kind of tapped out so there's no imps mischief going on. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. No, sorry. I'll just imps mischief, mischief that. My bad. Thanks for the reminder. How do you, do you have, have mana, mana for it? You, I'll, I, I'll be sacrificing these two to Phyrexian oh, altar. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I'm fine with it. If he, has to, if he has to sacrifice everything else to get there. Um, And I lose a life to having to actually use imps mischief there. Yeah. Thanks for reminding me about imps mischief. I forgot that I drew that. I, when, he, <laughs> I, when he when he ad nods to it, I was like, oh. Um, and when you've got a grip that large, but it's fine. Like, I, like he had to, he had to go all in on this Gary though. So, so two. Gary yeah, everyone's two. just losing two. Cast Chromox will imprint. I think imprinting this lethal vapors is probably the next best thing. Makes and sense. I'm done there. Oh, this returned to my hand by the way when I played that. By the way, sorry. Reliquary Tower for turn. Play a Sea of Clouds for turn. Tap that in the forest to play out Sethus. I'm gonna tap this for a green, losing my mask, to play out a unbridled growth on my reliquary tower. When it enters the battle, uh, when I cast it, actually, I will gain life and draw a card. I think that's it for me. Go. Untap, upkeep, take a damage, draw. We're gonna play City of Brass and then Sanctum of Eternity. Make like Texas and hold them. Pass the turn. Untap. Untap. Sylvan Library trigger. A very, very sad Sylvan Library trigger. You can um, dig at least a little. That's yeah, you can at least pick one. I think he's looking at his cards and he's really upset that he didn't. <laughs> tap my four artifact mana. Okay, <laughs> tap the four mana. Use the two colorless that are from Thran Dynamo to play an Arcane Signet. Yep. Use the red and the green to cast Life from the Loam. Yep. I'm going to return this mountain, this forest, and this mountain to my hand. I will then play two lands for the turn, as is my right. Kicks and Giggles, equip the Swift Whip, the Lightning Greaves onto the Sylvan Safekeeper. One blocker is better than none blocker, so I'll pass the turn. Untap. Um, my one creature? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's my one land, Arcane Lighthouse. And my Frexian Altar untaps too. Okay, let's roll for Crypt first. It was meant to be. Nice. Good Crypt. Good meant crypt. to be. Ding, ding, ding. No villa, so it's a really good crypt. Really yeah, good crypt. Yeah, no crypt. <laughs> All right, we're going to move to draw. Very cool. I'm astonished that we've had so much interaction through a winter orb this game. This is so cool. Cool is one way to say it. Okay, let's go ahead and play Ancient Tomb, first land drop. Cast Two. Felwar Stone. Ancient Tomb goes back to him. Going to go ahead and cast a Basilica Screecher. And then I guess land for turn will just be this here swamp. And I'll pass there. Uh, on top, Arcane Signet. Draw. Play a forest and a rejuvenating springs once again. Thank you for being my opponents today. Pay a forest in the signet for a Sylvan library. Uh, or an uncast, actually. I draw a card and again in life. Yeah, I'm going to pass there. Go. Woohoo! I've untapped all of my lands. Achievement unlocked. Nice. Okay. Upkeep. This feels horrible. <laughs> I'm going to have to pay. Untapping for lands is, is good until you have to tap them again and lose, put them back in your hand. <laughs> oh, ouch. 
Ouch. I can't die to Mono Vault. <laughs> <laughs> Draw a card for turn. And I'll play one land, two lands, nine, discarding a mine crank, because you don't need your graveyard more full. <laughs> and oh, we might. That might actually kill him. It could. It, yeah. I'm not going to take my... I actually think he mind. probably has about as, many, as much life as he has cards in his deck at this point. And we're battlements and pass the turn. Untap. For my first draw, I am going to dredge and pull back life from the loam. I had it out here specifically for that. Talisman of Impulse, grafted exoskeleton, which hurts, and so Kenzen. Then look at the other two, and I have to put one of them back. Put two of them, both of them have to go back. Yeah. You can look at him though, and yeah, do that. Yep. Yeah. Play two lands. I'm going to tap 10 mana. Yep. All of this mana goes back to my hand. Yep. Cast Borborygmos Enraged. Yep. Make an, an additional attempt. He equips Basculus Caller. I am going to go. Uh, this is tapped. I am going to. You gain a life. You can, yeah, you, you do can't, gain a life. You, don't get, you can't do the Caller after the Grease, by the way. Just right, remember, thank you. So. I'm going to go to combat. I'm gonna attack Jason with Sylvan Safekeeper. You get a gold. I get a gold. And then I take a one. Second main, I'm gonna tap the mountain, return it to my hand, and use the gold to attempt to equip Basilisk Collar onto Borborygmos Enraged. Any response? I do have an interaction point here. You know what's actually really funny is if you hadn't counterspelled or tried to counterspell, I would have killed him on my turn and we wouldn't be losing. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel bad for what I did, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> no, you're good, you're good. So let's try it anyway. Corpse Dance. All right. In response to the trigger before, like with that targeting, yeah. uh, with Corpse da Dance on the stack, I'm gonna deal three damage to you, Okay. Josh. Ding, ding, ding. And once that resolves, I'm gonna keep doing this once it resolves each time. I should warn you, if you attempt to kill me on the stack, I will kill Borborygmos regardless of if I'm about to die. No, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. As long as you're okay taking that risk. If Borborygmos dies here, I'm out of the game anyways. Okay. So resolve, resolve, resolves, or sorry, activate one more to target you. Attempt to. All right, so you're putting that ability on the stack. Yep. Yep, I die. Okay. All right, yep, Basilisk. Basilisk Caller resolves. Yep. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> Equip Lightning Greaves, going all in. Yep, yep. With Life Link and Death Touch, and assuming no interaction on the board, um, Lightning Bolt, Jason, Lightning Bolt, Jason. That was I'm, very I'm well played, Keith. Drawing Thank for you. turn. I'm gonna play Winds of Wrath and Extort it. Oh! And I, you lost one, I gained one from the Extort, by the way. Yeah, now Jeff's true colors are coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta extort my way to victory right now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think that's my turn, go. Okay. Did you play all your lands? Yeah, I played my lands. I had to play my lands for turn to get oh, Sylvan so. Library. Oh, I didn't even Sylvan Library on my turn. That's my own fault. Oh, oops. <laughs> we just draw one. I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna have fun. We're we're gonna play a mana crypt at eight life. <laughs> mana crypt does enter the battlefield tapped. Oh, it does enter the battlefield tapped, doesn't it? Yep. That hurts. Oh yeah. Tap the arcane signet in the forest, returning the forest to my hand. Cast life from the loam. Get back special fancy fun mountains and forests. Yeah. Get Sokenzin instead of that that mountain. I pay four mana. I am going to cast a Surly Badger Sword. It's a 3-3 three, three for four mana. Whenever I discard a creature, I put a 1-1 one, one counter on the creature on this. Whenever I discard a land, I create a treasure. And then whenever I discard a non-creature, non-land, Surly Badger Sword fights up to one target creature I don't control. I'm going to attempt to equip the Lightning Greaves onto the Surly Badger Sword. You gain a life, Jeff. I'm almost back to 40. Let's get there. Play a forest. Play a mountain. Uh, play another forest. Sorry. Pass the turn. On tap. Yeah. I think digging yeah. is my best move right now, actually. So, eight. Whoa. Okay. There we go. Well, that was... my two lands. Oh, that, are they going to be tapped? They yep. would come in tapped. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Only one opponent. Revenge. <laughs> that's the case. I'm going to play a Plains and a Rejuvenating Springs tap then. That's my best turn. Yeah, go. That's my best for me. All righty. Okay. Untap and roll for Crypt. Yeah, you're right. Odds is going to hurt me. Three. Evens is going to keep me alive. Oh, that actually changes a lot. I can no longer dredge. I cannot. I cannot safely dredge here. Sylvan Library trigger. I do not life from the loam. Just get this one. Twelfth mana. Thirteenth mana. 
It's either this or I die. So it's gonna be this. It's gotta be this. I'll use all but the arcane signet. These six lands come back to my hand and I cast Borborygmos Enraged. Borborygmos Enraged is on the battlefield. Do you still have two Fact. more land drops? Or? You gain a life. Uh, I, think I, you have, already played I have line. used all my land drops. I will attempt to cast Keen Sense. What am I doing with this Lightning oh, Greaves? Yeah. I will attempt to cast Keen Sense, targeting Borborygmos and Rage. That I will have a response for. You will have a response, okay. Yeah. Uh, and this even, which will make this go back to my hand as well. So this will, these will come back. This is gonna get me a wipe, by the way, before it falls off as a result of its ability. I'm gonna be playing Dovin's Veto and extorting it. Okay. Four you sure will. Keen Sense. I will pitch, so Kenzin, Mountain, Forest, Forest, Forest and Reliquary Tower to deal eight, 18 damage to you. Six, yeah, 18, okay. And make six treasures from Surly yes. Badger Sore. So then the Extort resolves? Extort. Yep. Resolve. Extort resolves, yep. Okay. And then the counter resolves? The Keen Sense is gone. Attempt to equip Lightning Greaves yep. onto Borborygmos Enraged. How did you get Dovin's Veto again? Did what? it? Oh, it shuffled into your library. Yeah, because look. Oh, the graveyard. So good. I'm not going to do any. I'm just going to draw this one. All right. Uh, play out a command tower and a sea of clouds. That would be top. Sea of clouds. Oh, no. Sorry. Hold on. Not sea of clouds. Bad sea of clouds. <laughs> and a planes. Tapping down. Turning my yes. lands. <laughs> Casting Supreme Verdict. Ah, yeah. Oh. There we go. I have to discard a lot because I'm a really quick tower out there anymore. In fact, I have no lands out there. So, and go. Untap my treasures. Untap my artifacts. I have 13 mana. Borborygmos currently costs 14. I am going to dredge the first Sylvan library. Or sorry, my my first draw step trigger. Colony gem, gruel turf, key drawn archive. That was a good move. Sylvan library goes back. I missed my mana crypt trigger. May, I, yeah, I need to take that right now. Odds hurts me, evens keeps me alive. Oh, no. <laughs> Continue the Sylvan Library stuff. I'm going to look at the top two. That Crypt Trigger. <laughs> that, crypt, no. oh. that Crypt Trigger got me. Oh, that, that Crypt Trigger bad. killed me. Yep. You lost six life to that thing. I did. I'm going to cast Null Spine Dragon. It's a 7-5 with flying for seven mana. When it enters the battlefield, I may discard my hand and draw cards equal to the damage dealt to target opponent this turn. It enters tapped and Jeff it gains a life. It does enter tapped and you gain a life. Just because I can, I am hellbent with no creatures Still able to trigger. block and one life. Just just wait until his upkeep. Yeah, just wait until my upkeep and then cast an instant if I don't die to my mana crypt trigger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna not take any damage from the Sylvan trigger, by the way, I'm just trying one. Do you really wanna play it that way? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna it's pay, I'm gonna play two blue and top for a one white. I'm gonna play a pull from tomorrow for zero. <laughs> and extort it. There we go. You got there it. we go. Nice. Oh. Incredible. Thank you, friends. That was a Good blast. Game. Oh. Even with Winter Orb out there, Blind Obedience is still one of my most hated cards. What did you think of the game? We'd love to hear down in the comments below. And another thank you to our guests, Josh and Keith. It was a pleasure having you. If you're looking for ways to support us so we can keep bringing you awesome content, we'd love to see you over in our private Discord where you can become a patron for only $2 a month. We have game days, extra giveaways, special events, and more. A big bonus is coming out in Q1 for all of our patrons, so you won't want to miss it. As always, the biggest shout out to our two king patrons, Jordan Ritchie and Worthy Glover. You both rule. We can't forget our amazing samurai patrons, Chris Crowley, Brian Hallecky, Chandler Carlisle, Jason Garner, Matias Salazar, Morton Christensen, and Revolution Gaming. You are all the pillars of kingdoms. As always, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for watching. Happy holidays and keep it nerdy.